previously. Right, next up is going to be the uh, Frost Moon. Let's see how, if we can pull off something similar with that. So yeah, the only buffs I'm using are the Flask of Icar and the Pumpkin Pie. I'll take that back out in place of these. I have... Uh, just get rid of this stuff for now. You know, if we put away these potions, that is going to buy us some space in our inventory for picking up more stuff. Luckily, we have our own daughter base ready and willing to accept all these potions. In fact, we don't accept all of them, do we? We just want the uh, bonus ones we have, which is this one. Yeah, there we go. Pop them in there. And we are good to go as soon as we get into that thing. I can put on that instead of this and then be good. Oh, I can't wait. I'm genuinely... Excite! Oh, you need to take this grave back, don't we? Yeah. Try not to die along the way. Drink a potion. We're collecting our grave so we can keep track of all the deaths we've ever had, and they're going this one. So we've got had quite a few deaths over the uh, over the time, haven't we? Most of them from freaking let's builds. So, do you don't want anything else with me? I don't think I wanted anything else with me. No, I'm good. I'm good to go. Hmm. No, I'm not going to. I was thinking about bringing the um, a clock with me or the GPS so I could check the time, but it's not that important. Get in here. You need, we need to flick on these labels, labels, levers. Lose my mind. We've got the obsidian shield, so we don't bounce around. Ah, I can quickly explain what I learnt from that endeavour, and I did learn something. Um, you may have noticed during the... Oh, never mind. Now, as you can see, there's nowhere near as much loot up here as there was for the Pumpkin Moon. But the Pumpkin King likes to sit right on top of my face up here. 
and that's why the loot all drops here. The pump, the ice cream there floats around, so I reckon down below there is going to be a serious amount of treasure. But before I do that, I'm going to fly over here. I'm going to put my safe down, get my lava waders out. So I can actually see what's going on. Uh, I would like those, though, so let's get rid of that. Let's pick that back up. Get out my inventory. You can just go away, please. Put it down there, and then let's scoot across and see what we have. Is it going to be as good as our haul from the... Ooh, pumpkin moon. Uh, the answer is no. We did not get quite as much stuff. But that is... But be, is that because... But is that because there is left less to be dropped? There is a lot of loot to be dropped from each type of enemy in the pumpkin moon. But in the frost moon, I think each enemy only drops one type of thing. Razor pine and that from the ever scream, the gatling gun from the end santa, uh, this from the ever screen, and this from the ice queen. I think I think that's all there is to be dropped, isn't there? And the blizzard blizzard staff as well. So I think we got one of everything apart from the blizzard stuff, unless I'm mistaken, which I could be. So have a quick scoot down here and then we'll get out of here. Yeah, so clearly we didn't get as much as we were anticipating, but let's just look. Uh, money situation, not as high either. I'm really surprised by that actually. So if we go to the magic thing, yeah, blizzard stuff, we didn't get one of those. And it appears that's the only other thing from that in terms of range. Do we see any icy range? There's the. Oh, the Elf Melter. We didn't get an Elf Melter either. Is the Snowman Cannon from that? I don't know. And in terms of melee, there's just the North Pole, isn't there? So we didn't do too bad. We just didn't get as much as... Oops. With the... Um, what's it called? So I was so badly concentrating on doing that. We just didn't get as much as what we were expecting with the um, pumpkin moon. But it's still fine. It's still fine. We'll sell all this, get some money out of it anyway. Maybe it's worth more. Free gold. Blah, blah, blah. Just take it all. Yeah, I'm genuinely surprised. Maybe it's just bad luck. Maybe it's bad luck, but we definitely didn't see... I've got another thing. We definitely didn't seem to get as much from it. Maybe lower drop. Who knows? Research. This is why we do this stuff. And uh, as I was saying before, I, I have learnt something from doing this. And I'll, uh, I'll go over that when we go back to the arena in a minute. Don't worry. No more fights. I'm done with the fighting now in the arena. Let's put that in. Oh, we don't have another Everscreen one in here. Let's add it like that. And that inventory should be pretty much empty. Nope, oh, like that. Okay, so here, uh, get up, up to get there first. Can't explain without it being in my general vicinity. And uh, we should be about landing on it now. Oh, damn closer! All right, so here is where our problem lies. This point here. Now it's not. Uh, too bad of a problem, it's just something I've noticed and something that could be improved upon. I'm just not sure how to improve upon it. So, as we know, the lava is good because it destroys all the, destroys all the crap loot, like the cash and the hearts. And we want all the crap loot to be destroyed so that it doesn't um, overload the game and we lose the good loot. So, I think the game can handle 400 items at once. So, with so many hearts and cash money and stuff, it easily hits that limit and then the good loot starts to disappear. So lava gets rid of all the crap, and the good is left. But up here, the loot lands on this. Not so much with the frost moon, but the pumpkin moon definitely you saw a lot of loot on top of this. And every so often, even I stood that, I had to jump up high, just to suck up all the hearts and money into my inventory, so they wouldn't, you know, uh, have the spawn limit. Hit the spawn limit. But, or hit the item limit, should I say. So how can I change that? 
I'm not sure. I could put lava up here, but if I put lava up here, it means having having a block on either end. And if there's a block on either end, well, the items could land on those blocks instead. So it still wouldn't really solve the problem. I could do a long pit of lava, but then the arrows that fly up wouldn't go through it. It's it's an interesting dilemma. I could stand up here, but then the crabs aren't hit me and the mimics are. I could switch them around, but then would the would I be able to hit the mimics down there? Let's just can I hit the crab from up here? See I can't hit that crab. So it wouldn't work. I'm not sure. It definitely can be improved somewhat, but I'm not sure how. And remember we've future proofed this so we can uh, improve it greatly just by getting more spear traps. If I go out and find more spear traps, which I stopped doing because it was just taking so long, I can add more along the top of here, and I can add more along here. So I would like it, ideally, to go all the way to this sort of starting point, maybe just a bit before it, like here, just so the loot doesn't um, splash out. But yeah, having it all... There's a slime staff. Again. I get so many of them. Apparently they're so rare. I get so many. Uh, what's that? Goblin Scout banner, probably I already have one. Destroy that map. There we go, I don't want that. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure how I can fix that, but it's something to look into for the future. Now let's go sell this slime staff, because I don't want it, I don't need it. Be gone. Two gold. And let's go see if I have a... I can't shut that door. Let's go see if I have a Goblin Scout banner. Also, I'd like to point out, Travelling Merchant. Still not shown his damn face. Yeah, we do have one. I think we only had one, though. So, yeah, I'm I'm very happy with my arena. Improvements can be made. Improvements will be made. But for now, it's good. It's good to go. So, did we have anything else on this list? We had a lot of stuff. I need to work on this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to call it quits. I've been recording for about two and a half hours now. Now, unfortunately, this isn't going to make as many episodes as I would like because it's going to have lots of fast-forwards on it. But two and a half hours is enough recording for one day. Don't want to tempt fate and have it lose even more footage. So I'll end it here, get this edited. This won't be tomorrow's episode, but the first part of this recording session will be. And that will do. If you have any more suggestions, drop me suggestions. I'll add them to this list. If you have an idea on how to upgrade my arena, let me know. I will add that too. If there's anything else you want me to do, just leave me a comment and I will get right on it. Thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow to see more suggestions being done and more upgrades being done. For now though, goodbye.